Today we study the application of Ampere Circuital Law. In last period we also study one of the application of Ampere Circuital Law. The one application is that we have to find by using the Ampere Circuital Law we have to find the we have to find the magnetic induction at a point due to a long state conductor by using the Ampere's circuital law and the second application is that the <coughs> we have to find the magnetic induction inside the solenoid magnetic in magnetic induction inside the solenoid is b equal to mu zero n i <coughs> that is the magnetic induction inside the solenoid by using the ampere circuital law today we study we have to find by using the ampere circuital law we have to find the magnetic induction inside the toroid we know that the solenoid is a long so long tube that is a solenoid solenoid consists of a large number of turns of a wire the length of the solenoid is large as compared to the as compared to the diameter of that solenoid if solenoid is bent if the solenoid is bent in the form of closed ring that is the solenoid if the solenoid is bent in the form of closed ring of a radius small r that is that is called as a toroid when solenoid is bent in the form of closed ring then we get a toroid toroid is a solenoid bent in the form of ring and then that is called as a toroid toroid of a radius small r we passing a electric current i we know that that toroid consists of a large number of turns of wire that number of turns turns of wire is wound on that uh, non magnetic material that is we know that i be the electric current the electric current <coughs> passed through the wire it produces the magnetic field electric current in the toroid that is it produces the magnetic induction the magnetic induction inside the toroid is in the form of a circular magnetic lines of force magnetic field which is formed by the electric current is represented by the magnetic lines of force and that magnetic lines of force inside the toroid is a circular is a circular and these are a concentric concentric with the center of a toroid each each magnet magnetic lines of force magnetic field is represented by the magnetic lines of force and that magnetic lines of force are circular and uh, and also the concentric concentric means center of each magnetic lines of force is same that is the o let r be the radius of toroid <coughs> and uh, magnetic field due to the current i outside the toroid is zero because the magnetic lines of force are rarer as compared to the magnetic lines of force inside the toroid the magnetic field or the magnetic lines of force inside the toroid is uniform it means that the direction of a magnetic field is the magnitude of a magnetic field inside the toroid is same or uniform but the direction is different we consider one of one of the magnetic lines of force we consider only one magnetic lines of force that is are in a circle here that is are in a circle of radius smaller of radius smaller <coughs> i be the electric current <coughs> we find that is the magnetic magnetic direction of magnetic lines of force magnetic field is represented by the vector dl the total length of magnetic lines of force the magnetic lines of force is in a circle the total length l of magnetic lines of force 
is divided into the number of small element each of element dl 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 like this we have to consider one of one of such a small element of length dl like this that is <coughs> and the magnetic lines of force the magnetic lines of force is a tangent to the circle here we have to find the direction of magnetic field it is a tangent to the circle at point at this point magnetic lines of force is tangent to the circle at this point the magnetic lines of force is a tangent to the circle and that is the dl we have to consider the another small element here <coughs> we know that the formula the integration of closed integral b dot dl closed integral b dot dl is equal to integration of we have to write we have to write uh, that equation in terms of magnitude that is b dl b dl cos theta we know that that is a phi is equal to vector b dot dl let b dl cos theta here theta is the angle between vector dl and the magnetic induction we know that at this point the magnetic induction is tangent to the circle tangent to the circle and dl is the vector in the direction of it in the direction of b vector b and dl are parallel to each other are parallel to each other theta equal to zero theta equal to zero and therefore the integration of b dot dl equal to integration of bl integration of dl integration of dl and the value of cos 0 1 value of cos 0 is 1 therefore integration of b dot dl closed integral of we have to take the line integral of magnetic induction over that circle line integral of magnetic induction over that circle is equal to integration of closed integration of b dot dl we have to take the line integral of magnetic field over that magnetic lines of force that is by taking the integration of closed integral b dot dl it is expressed in magnitude that is uh, b dl cos theta where theta is the angle between the b vector b and vector dl they are parallel to each other here because the magnetic lines of force magnetic induction is tangent to the circle and vector dl is also tangent to the circle that is theta equal to zero <coughs> the vector b dot dl because the value of cos zero is one value of cos zero is one therefore integration of b dot dl equal to we know that inside the integration the magnetic induction is constant at every point because each and every point on the circle is at the same distance that is r each and every point on this circle is at the same distance from the center therefore the magnitude of magnetic induction is same therefore b is same it is taken at outside the integration and that is integration of dl the integration of dl is the we know that the total length of the circle total length l of the circle is divided into the number of small element dl plus dl plus dl we have to equate all integration of dl is the total length of total length total length of circle circle that is equal to 2 pi r 2 pi r that is circumference of the circle integration of dl is equal to 2 pi r we have to put the value of integration of dl b equal to 2 pi r that is our, one of the equation we have to apply the ampere circuital law apply the ampere circuital law to this figure that is integration of b dot dl equal to mu zero times the electric current electric current electric current electric current enclosed enclosed by that path by that closed path by that 
path is equal to that is equal to mu zero small n small n be the small n be the number of turns per unit length अच्छा प्रत्येक एक मीटर इतक लेंथ पर नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स एन इतक आता एन बी द नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स पर यूनिट लेंथ दैट इज इक्वल टू एन 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 स्मॉल एन बी द नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स पर यूनिट लेंथ दैट्स इक्वल टू टोटल वी नो दैट ऑन वन मीटर लेंथ द नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स इज एन स्मॉल एम एंड ऑन द टोटल लेंथ एल द नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स इज एन इन टू एल into the electric current that is equal to mu 0 mu 0 nl nli and we know that that total length l total length l is a circle that is 2 pi r therefore integration of b dot dl equal to mu 0 into n n into 2 pi r into current that is our equation number 1 equation number 2 comparing the equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get we know that that le their left hand sides are equal left hand sides are equal integration of d b dot dl equal to b 2 pi r that is b into 2 pi r equal to mu 0 n 2 pi r into i that is 2 pi r 2 pi r get cancel therefore we get b equal to mu 0 n i <coughs> that is b is equal to mu 0 n i into i where n be the number of turns per unit length that is the magnetic induction expression for that is the magnetic induction inside the toroid carrying a current i and we know that the magnetic induction inside the solenoid is also same that is b equal to mu 0 ni and uh, magnetic induction the formula for magnetic induction inside the solenoid and inside the toroid is same that is b equal to mu 0 ni that is the space between space inside the toroid is filled by air or vacuum then b equal to mu 0 and i where mu 0 is the permeability of air medium permeability of air medium permeability of air medium if <coughs> if this core is replaced by iron core toroid the iron core toroid that is b equal to b mu n i here b equal to b equal to mu n i that is b is equal to mu is the permeability of any medium mu is the permeability of any medium other than air or vacuum and mu zero is the permeability of air or vacuum <coughs> we know that relative permeability the relative permeability is the ratio of mu by mu 0 mu by mu 0 or mu equal to mu 0 mu 0 mu r that is that is b equal to mu 0 mu r equal into n into i where mu r is the relative permeability if the toroid or uh, toroid or solenoid is is a iron cord that is b equal to mu 0 mu r into ni <coughs>